This is a motherboard. It is also officially the biggest motherboard box I have ever seen. Asus sent it over. I think it's for one of their Intel motherboards. Again, I'm gonna be honest, like, it's hard to keep up now with the numbers and things, like X870. Actually, yung X yung pang AMD, yung Z yung pang Intel. So actually, that's one way I keep track. But then you have to also remember which generation it is and things. So this is absolutely massive. The largest MOBO. It's actually, ito ata yung pinaka... I had to make room for it on the desk. And I think this might be the most stressful unboxing I've had in a while because, I mean, yeah, it's so large na... Damn. Wow! Damn! It's like a crate. Okay, you're getting a nice side view there. Oh, nice. So, obviously, medio excessive. <laughs> alright, alright. So, this is the main box. Let me just make sure I don't injure anyone or anything or any piece of my hardware while we're getting the exterior packaging off. Grabe. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's like a crate. Yeah. Okay. It's like a crate from Counter Strike or something. All right. Nothing inside the box. Nothing left. Okay. Just the foam pads. For those who dare, and I have uh, dressed up for the occasion. Oh, it's Velcro straps. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Another strap here also on this side. And let's see what this bad boy looks like. Oh, okay. So it's um, it's an AIO and a motherboard. So it's an Intel board. It's, a, it's such a pretty, such a pretty box. Like I, parang sa ilang kung tabi ko, tabi ko lang pero. So just to be clear, this sort of care package design isn't what you would see in retail. They specifically made it para. Pampasindak, I guess. I mean, I would just just look at this thing. It is, it is nicely, it is neatly done. Inside, you do get a ROG Z890 Hero. So we'll unbox this sucker later. And also the Ryujin. Is this a new Ryujin? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. The new Ryujin 360 360 ARGB Extreme. We will see if there's anything underneath. So this is the MOBO part. This is the AIO part. Um, there does seem to be some thing under here. So see if there are any goodies inside because there is an open tab here. And there must be something inside here though. No? Oh, it's like a, I, I think it's a kind of pull it out. So not break anything. <laughs> My contact at ASUS did warn me na don't pull too tight kasi uh, uh, the design. No, no, I see something inside. I see something inside, guys. You can just see it through peeking through there. It's the ROG RG07. I don't know what that is. But first things first, how do we get it out? Kucha IQ test naman to. Oh, there, there. Okay, just it just kind of slides out. Just gotta be a little persistent. Oh wow, it's a complete. What's it, what is this ROG 07? ROG 07. Discover cool stuff below. More here. Well, DDR5 RAM always important with these latest builds. Brand new, pa. Oh, it's it's still sealed. I just, I just want to rip off the shrink wrap and then... Oh, it's it's thermal paste! Apparently, the RG07 is thermal paste. And let's see... This is the first time I'm seeing... Like, actual... Parang product level... Thermal paste from ASUS. I mean, you know, aside from the... I can't remember, actually. Like, even if there are any of their MOBOs. Yeah, usually, wala naman na. This is the first time I'm seeing, like, production level... TP, RG07 for those who dare. Got your stickers. Pero bakit AM? <laughs> bakit AMD game on? 
it's an Intel board. Nice, very quality, cleaning wraps, more cleaning wraps, and I guess a wedge. Thermal grease and the very helpful instruction says do not ingest. I, I concur, 100%. Oh, okay, cable management time, guys. Let's unwrap this sucker. So, for cable management, um, nicely done. The print is attractive. Feels premium. Yung makapal siya na sticks right away. You got a black one. And you got a white one. <laughs> nice. Starts with WASD. Nice. This is also started with WASD. Oh, this also, the black one also starts with WASD. So both, both the cable management ties start with WASD. Alright, you go back there. That was nice, in fairness. More here though, more here. <laughs> Wala naman din ako ni Asus. <laughs> Kasi may, may nakakari na more here, tapos nakaturo dun. So I thought there was like more stuff underneath. But I guess they were talking about the, the RAM. So the industry now, especially for the new generations like AM5 and the latest from Intel, they are trying to popularize the notion that 2x24 should be the minimum that you need for any system. But DDR5, 2x24 daw yung minimum. This one seems to go at 8,200 mega transfers, so that's quite high. Especially for someone like me, who is still using DDR4. Okay, I think that is it for this bonkers box. <laughs> Baka <meron> pa? <laughs> ah, okay. And of course, for those who dare. Thank you for choosing ROG and dominating with us. Your new ROG weapons are locked and loaded. I think that's it. Because I like the. So this one, there's design. So parang there's a giveaway na meron sa ilalim. Tapos may pull tab. May pull tab din siya. That was kind of an indication that there was something underneath here. But I don't see any clues here. Let's move on to the motherboard and AIO. I already considered this a win that I haven't wrecked the box yet. Very solid. All right. We have the ROG Maximus Z890 Hero. So these things are ridiculously expensive. The only time that I ever actually get to touch them, let alone play around with them, is when ASUS sends them over. Like I wouldn't be able to afford it, to be honest, for my own rig. So PCI, of course, PCIe 5, DDR5, Wi-Fi 7, Dolby Atmos. All of those things, I mean, basically that you expect from a top of the line next gen or current gen motherboard oh nice pull out here damn so so this is like serious gamer aesthetic all black very rugged and very heavy <laughs> i mean you know it's put together i don't i wonder how many layers this pcb is yeah it is Quite heavy. So many ports too. Okay, that one. Oh, and like the back plate, the the back is all back plate. I mean, it's maybe eighty percent back plate. Um, and really, they only give you access to the portion that you need for the CPU cooler. But other than that, there's a complete metal back plate over it. Uh, I don't know if it helps with heat dissipation since, you know, naka standoff lang naman siya from the, ano, looks good though, from the board, but looks good though. So, of course, very chunky VRMs, VRM cooling, and then you have the Maximus branding and the Supreme FX branding on the side. And of course, if you followed our other unboxings on the latest Asus motherboards, you know that you can kind of pull out the GPU. So that's the latest feature of ASOS because, you know, with the larger cards, it's very hard to get the GPU release. So now you can kind of pull it out with a little force, which makes things super useful. I mean, I, I wish people had done that a long time ago. Parang I want to start pulling off. There's like a release there and then you pull, oh, you pull it off. Oh shit, okay, it's, not, it's not breaking anything. Uh, the cool, wow, this is, <laughs> I mean, this, this chunk of metal right here is the cooler for the M.2 drive. It is like a solid piece of metal. I mean, look, look at this heat sink. Ridiculous. 
Then of course you have the M.2 slot underneath. Yeah, to be honest, I always get uh, a little scared doing these unboxing videos, especially of these kind of parts, because uh, don't drop it. I mean, even aesthetically, it's such a pretty component. Like you don't wanna, you don't wanna do anything that could hurt the motherboard. So I assume the usual ROG stuff. Uh, you got your stickers, you got your warranty, quick guide. Oh, the quick guide actually looks useful. It's actually color coded. Props to ASUS. I mean, I've lost track how many times you look at motherboard manuals and they're all just like white and black. So it's really hard to figure out which part, which number is referring to. This one makes sense. It's color coded and the diagram is very neat. So it explains the M.2 stuff and the uh, quick release and things like that. It ha also has decent explanations here on the basic computer parts, especially if you're just starting out with building. Probably the most boring unboxing, I know, like I'm focusing on the manuals rather than like the actual stuff. I mean, those are important too. Not everybody can just log on to YouTube. I mean, you know, that's always like, oh, I have a tech problem now. I'm gonna log on to YouTube. So underneath, there's one final layer of packaging. I'll show it to you. One final layer of packaging. Underneath are all of the wires and things. Um, got a whole bunch of wires. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi antenna. Really itty bitty rubber feet. SATA cables. Uh, more cooling for the heatsink. More of the thermal pads. That's nice, that's good. I have no idea what this is. Um, yeah, it's a whole bunch of wires. Oh, nice. Swag. Bottle opener. Nani? Bottle opener. Tina to makakabalik kay Asus. I mean, I'm going to send this back, but sans the uh, for those who dare bottle opener. Pang dagdag sa swag. Any other interesting things here? Oh, this one looks interesting. What this? ROG for those who dare, and it is a ah USB. Nice also. Another item that is mysteriously going to get lost in transit. Um, this one is. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, it's a little hard to see it on the close-up cam. But it's some metal. Oh, it's like extra. The screws that you can turn, but they are very fancy screws that you can turn. I think, uh, I think that, I think that's what these are. So it's nice that they provide a lot of the extras of even the itty bitty things. Because yun yung madalas na wawalay. For example, oh, this is an ASUS fan holder. Quite no. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here, but the important thing is this ridiculously. <laughs> I don't want to say over-engineered. I'm sure everything has its place, but it's just beautiful to look at. Pop over the specs real quick. All right. And of course, you have the... This is like a card. Okay, stuck on there real good. Let's not, uh, let's not disturb that anymore. Again, props for the very well-constructed manual. The board is all around hefty and impressive, especially the RAM, which has a new type of dim slot that reduces signal reflection. ASUS is calling it Nitro Path DRAM. This allows for faster RAM speeds, and with the Hero, it's been tested to 8,600 mega transfers. The board also has six M.2 slots, three of which are PCIe 5 and three are PCIe 4. Of course, high-end boards have lots of power stages, and boy, does the Hero have a lot with 22 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 power stages. 11 rear USB ports round everything out, two of which are Thunderbolt 4, the board has support for Wi Fi 7, and dual multi gig LAN adapters. This motherboard is insane, so we're gonna put this to the side first. The Z890 Maximus Hero. Okay. And of course, let's not forget the latest iteration of the Ryujin. We actually. We have done a review on this one, but I guess that was the previous gen. I guess this is the latest gen. Ryujin 3, 360 ARGB Extreme, CPU liquid cooler, ARGB Gen 2, 
AMD M5 and LGA1851. Ah, the magnetic fans. Love those magnetic fans. Let's see those guys now. Sorry, Mobo. You, I, know you, I know you like being the star of the show, pero let's put you to the side first. Out of the way, but not so much out of the way that you'll fall off. Okay. All right. And of course, if you have a very high-end CPU, you will need very high-end cooling because those high... Oh, nice. Those high-end CPUs love to get hot. I've always appreciated, actually, the Asus packaging. Hindi lang siya parang... We need to cram this product into the smallest box possible. But they really think about how things are folded. I appreciated that also when I have to unbox their monitors. Like everything, it's a little bit like origami. Na parang everything just kind of folds into place. Like there's no wasted space almost. So this is the actual AIO. I believe these are the fans here that we have. Just coax this out. Yeah, see, so like this whole shoebox type of setup, and then that allows you to un just. They're like shelves. And then, yep. So, as with all high end, or seemingly all high end AIOs now, it does have the uh, LCD display on the CPU block. Although, what I really liked was the kind of animatrix design of the. Wasn't the Ryujin? Eh? I remember using that model for a little bit for my personal PC. Isha Ryujin. But the other AIO. But it didn't have a screen. I mean if that's what of course if that's what you're after, then you should get one with a screen, right? But I'm okay like not having the screen. Um, everything neatly in its place. ROG, bracket. Instructions. Anything else? I think there's something else in here, pa. No, 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 no. Okay. Keep it together. All right, there we go. And here is the AIO, of course. I'll just show you the block real quick. Wow, this is such a beefy looking block. So you got the ROG logo on the side, and then you have the screen here on top, of course, and rectangular, boxy type of setup. I don't really go for AIOs myself. I don't know, sometimes I like the aesthetic of the air coolers. I mean, AIOs can't be beat also if you like RGB, but if you don't, parang... Oh no, now it's like... Now this, now, now this is the IQ test. Save the IQ test for later. Let's show you the fans real quick. Whenever some brand comes out with magnetic fans, I'm like, yeah, that is the way. It saves you the time of cable management. So these I will actually open just because you know I like I love snapping them on. And it's a, see, it's such a clean design. No more wires. Everything just ported through the connectors. Then you of course slap them on top of the radiator. I love magnetic fans. Yeah, so we're gonna do a demo real quick of the magnetic fence. So each one has one end and then the other end, and they all just plug in together. Another thing that's nice about them is that it's super intuitive. Like, you don't need to know a lot about PC building, but you can kind of figure out like, okay, this one seems to want to plug in here, and yeah, and voila. Yes, they do. They do want to plug in together. Whoa, nice. Female. Oh, so love, love, love magnetic fans. I mean, to be fair, a bunch of different brands have them. Although ASUS has been doing them consistently, it's just hard to beat the simplicity of these magnetic fans. And then, you know, it's usual they have the little etchings here, the ROG logo. Attention to detail, talaga. I mean, especially at this price point, especially for this brand. That pretty much wraps it up. I mean, this was the largest motherboard box I've ever unboxed. But to be fair, make a palang AIO. Nice presentation. But of course, the hardware lives up to the expectations that is set by the nice presentation. So new generation of hardware coming in, motherboards, AIO, CPUs. Looks like it's gonna be an exciting 
last quarter 2024 for PC gamers or PC builders in general. Thanks for watching.